Right, we definitely are staying in the holiday spirit. Look at that picture right there. Actually, our very own Brett Crandall sent in that picture of his little gingerbread village. And speaking of gingerbread villages, gingerbread houses, we have Gabby here with the International Hi. Museum of Arts and Sciences. Hello, thank you for joining us. And today, Hi. as you can see, we are making our very own gingerbread houses. And if I'm correct, there's actually some classes going on at the museum that where people can come and really learn how to do this very traditional holiday, uh, holiday uh, activity, right? Yes, December 15th. Next Saturday, we will be having two sessions, one at 11 a.m. and another one at 2 p.m. It's $8 for members of IMAS and $10 for non-members. And all the kids will get all, all the supplies that you see here, the frosting, the graham crackers, and they'll spend some good time uh, hearing Christmas music and spending time with their parents and making these um, houses. And so their parents can come with them and yes. actually really participate. And it's, it's a fun family event, so it's, I'm sure it's going to be really fun for a lot of people to attend something like this. And as you can see, we've already kind of cemented on our graham crackers with some frosting here and now basically once you do that Gabby you said that now it's just time to decorate right now it's decorating we are having a little bit of a malfunction with the <laughs> house but it's okay you're not wanting to stay together they just kind of well hey no. there we go but what you can do is you can get get any kind of candy we got some gumdrops we have twizzlers you can get some m&ms anything of those sorts and then you just start decorating away mm -hmm. um you can start use, making the front door, you can start making uh, the windows or decorating all around and this is basically where it becomes a lots of fun for yeah. all kids. And so you can really go as all out as you want to. We have some you know finished products here as you can see that ones that are already decorated. Real fun, real fun, a lot of fun. <laughs> and you were actually telling me earlier you know if, if there is a little bit of malfunctioning and if you're not necessarily wanting to eat the gingerbread house you can do another little trick to help it stay all together. What was that? Um, hairspray. Just kind Cover it in hairspray and it'll act as a sealer and it'll act as a little bit more of glue and you can also keep it for the next season. Just put it away in a Ziploc bag and it'll help you out. Why is it so important for families to do really fun traditional um, ideas like this during the Christmas holidays? Why is it so important for families to Well, do I that? think uh, nowadays we're so busy with work and with school. It's just a great way to come together, you know, uh, spend some time and keep this fun tradition alive. Yeah, it really is. Now we're, we're gonna continue to do this and decorate our little gingerbread houses. By the end of the show, hopefully we'll have some Something relatively done, but we'll be right back after this. Stay tuned.